Hi everyone, this is Rachel from the Dotting Center. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I'm going to show you how I painted this peacock inspired mandala stone. I hope you enjoy it. So for this project I decided to use this perfectly oval smooth Mexican beach pebble. For the base coat I chose an emerald green and for the stencil I used my 5 inch Taurus stencil from my double sided mandala collection. So I used a little bit of framing putty in the center to hold the stencil in place and then I traced one side and flipped it over to the other side. And what this does is it creates a really complex design very quickly and gives me just the most perfect guidelines from which to start dotting. So using these flexible stencils has been has given me the ability to create these complex shapes on round objects and um, they've really been a game changer. I just love them. Okay, so now comes the paint and I start off with a big black dot right in the center and then I proceed to mess up the very first row. What I did was I didn't get my spacing quite right and my dots were too big so I used my silicone tool with a flat chisel edge to scrape off all of the excess paint and then I get my little q-tip with some water on it and remove just the rest of the paint to make it clean again. Okay so let's watch that again up close. I feel like there's so much more to learn from mistakes because you can learn how to recover. When I first started dotting, I probably would have thought that this was a mistake that just couldn't be fixed and I would have just washed the whole thing and started all over again. But these silicone tools really come in handy for erasing all kinds of dotting boo-boos. Okay, so now I come back in with a smaller tool, my stylus tool, and make the dots the correct size, just a little bit smaller so they fit right in between those little petal shapes. And here I'm using a larger tool just to fill in the widest part of those petals. I use stencils because I secretly hate the drawing bit. I love being able to just skip right ahead and jump into what I feel is the most fun part of dotting, which is all the colorful painty parts. And the stencil gives a framework for the painting so that I can feel free to be creative with the dot patterns and colors while staying within the lines. So, I mean, you can use these stencils over and over and never paint the same design twice which is one of the things that I love about using stencils. One thing I'd like to mention here is when you're dotting directly on top of a chalk line, it's a good idea to um, check your paint and make sure you're using 100% opaque paint. I've done it before and it's not fun when you use a semi-transparent or transparent paint on top of a chalk line, basically what you do is you lock it in for life. You will not be able to wash that away once it dries. And it's not a good look to have your chalk line visible underneath your dot. So when you're dotting on a chalk line, just use opaque paint. Okay, so this is where I kind of switched it up a little bit. I wanted to make some little teardrop lines that extend out in those petal shapes. So I switched to my flat chisel silicone tool. And you can see here how I get 
that effect. You just load it up with paint and you kind of draw it along the surface. So I'm just going to drop in here for a quick plug to let you know that all the tools and stencils you see used in this video can be purchased in my store at The Dotting Center on Etsy. All the links are below. So here's another trick to have in your bag. If you mess up, make sure that you have your base coat color, the paint that you used for your base coat, right next to you at all times so that you can always just kind of paint directly over your boo-boos. No one will ever know. So this is one of my very favorite tools for tiny dots. It's an eighth inch pointed silicone tool and I use this one all the time. I love it. So here I switch to the 1 8 inch chisel silicone tool to make these little drops. Okay, so now I switch to a rod and I'm using my very favorite paint on the planet. It's that golden iridescent gold color. It's so pretty. drops. These are fun to do. It's, it's easier for me to do these shapes with a silicone tool than a paintbrush for some reason. Um, I'm not really sure why, but it's very enjoyable and really easy. So for the final few rows, I wanted to brighten it up with a nice green color and really kind of make that edge pop. So now I get a chance to use my dotting rods for some of the bigger dots. Okay, so it's all dry, so now is the fun part. We go in and we do all the top dots. And this is where things really get interesting. So adding the top dots really levels up your design quite a bit. And um, it can add dimension, like as in your dots will get taller and puffier. It can also add interest in the different color choices that you use. So you can choose to go lighter as you get the smaller dots on top or you can choose to use interesting color combinations that you wouldn't normally think to use and they just kind of pop in a magical way. So this is one of my favorite points in the design when things are really coming together and you can really see um, your design kind of get elevated. Details, details. It's at this point where I could tweak endlessly 
So at a certain point though, your design is like, enough, don't add any more dots. And you have to listen because uh, there can be a point where you, you just, you gotta step away. Step away, you've, you've done enough. Okay, so this is the point where all the paint is dry. I'm happy with the result and I go in and erase all the chalk lines. And if you have a good chalk pencil, it will just come off this easily with water and a cotton swab. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please hit the like button and join me by subscribing to my channel. More videos are on the way. And if you're interested in dotting, please check out the Dotting Center on Etsy for all the tools, stencils, and projects you'll need to get started dotting on your own. Make some fun projects like this. It's good for you. Thanks again. Until next time.